Hey guys, Samo here, uh, continuing this Jazz Guitar Basics Masterclass Workshop, whatever you want to call it, sharing some of the knowledge. Uh, we've covered uh, intervals so far, we've covered playing the C major scale on every string and in every position, three notes per string. We touched the blue scale, A blue scale. And uh, today we're going to kind of touch the um, triads or arpeggios and uh, focusing today on major triads. And we're in C major scale, right? So, uh, meaning we have three major triads in C major scale C, F, and G. So basically, one, four, and five, the first, fourth, and fifth. Uh, position in the scale. This is kind of related to modes, you know, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, and so on, which you might have heard of, but maybe I'll explain it in one of the future lessons as well. It's quite easy. But uh, we're gonna play triads first, so like arpeggios. What does arpeggio mean? Arpeggio means that we separate the chord. So if we have a C major chord, or whatever, this one, or this one, Really basic. Uh, we're gonna now ar arpeggiate it. So basically, this is already an arpeggio, meaning we play every note separately, right? And we're gonna do C major arpeggio on three ways, and F and G. That is, as a matter of fact. And uh, starting first on the sixth string, so note C on the eighth fret of the sixth string, and so C major arpeggio is made from C, E, and G notes. So a major third and a minor third, or a perfect fifth. And uh, so basically what are we going to do is starting with the C and just play it C, E, G, C, E, G, C. We can add this one. Notice the fingering, I, I, I go like this, so first, fourth, second, third, second. Why? Because it's really, if you want to sweep it, so kind of play it fast, it's... Yeah, if, if, if I go any other way, maybe, makes it a little bit harder. So this was the first one, and then we play from the same note from the C, but going back, so... C, E, G, C, E, G, C. Again, fingering. So avoid kind of like something like this. It's it's harder, right? So these were the two positions from the sixth string, and then we go to the fifth string. I'll play it here on the fifteenth fret. I could hear, but to avoid the open strings, so I just go again fingering so pinky, third, G with the first, second for C with the first yeah. same thing we're gonna do with the F major chord so we're starting with the first finger first fret of the sixth string So again, it's kind of the same. And the F starting from the F on the fifth string. So with the pinky. F A C F A C. Yep. Same with the G. So this is the last of the major triads of the major chords in the C major scale, so G, D natural, D, starting from G. I could go here, but to avoid the open strings I'll go here, right? And from the G, from the tenth fret of the fifth string, So what 
we did was C major chord arpeggiated, F major chord arpeggiated, G major chord arpeggiated. So these are the three major chords in the C major scale. And uh, we're gonna then in the next one try to figure out what to do with them and how to incorporate them, okay? So have fun with these ones. Then in the next one, we're exploring the minor uh, arpeggios, minor chords in the C major scale, and then the diminished one, so B natural one. So, and then the use of these, okay? So have fun with these. Ciao.